It was just a couple of days ago that I posted that video talking about the Atari press release saying that they had acquired all of these classic arcade Stern titles. Remember, uh, Berserk and Frenzy and a bunch more. You might have seen the video or probably heard the news by now. And in the comment section of that video, uh, a viewer named Natosumi said, Atari actually seems to be kind of trying lately. And I got a real chuckle about, out of that at the time. But then today, another press release dropped that makes that even more <laughs> true. It looks like we might be looking forward to Atari-themed television shows and movies in the near future. This video supported in part by... Playing VR, I tend to sweat. It gives me an edge. The King of Nerds happens to give me an edge, too. Let King of Nerds give you the edge. Bye, King of Nerds. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I am John, and I am a Gen X Grown Up. And the article that I'm talking about here today is... I, again, I, I thought we had seen all the big news out of Atari for a little while, but so this is in Variety. In Variety, the headline says, I'll put a link in the description, of course, if you want to go read all of this for yourself. Atari signs with APA. Now, uh, if you don't know what APA is, APA is also known as the Agency for the Performing Arts. They're one of the largest diversified talent agencies in the entertainment industry with headquarters in Los Angeles, New York, Nashville, Atlanta, Toronto, and London. So APA is like a big deal in movies and television in terms of, you know, brokering deals with people and setting things up. I, I, look, I'm not an actor. I don't work with them, but I just did a little bit of reading to find out. And so here's what this article says, and we're going to tear it apart. There are a few key things that we want to look at, but so yeah, here's what it says. Um, so Atari is signed with APA for representation, and it goes on to say, the pioneering video game company will work with APA to develop projects around its best known IP in the live action, animation, and non-scripted film and television spaces. So I'm gonna let that sink in there. I'm gonna sink in just a little bit. The first thing they say is best known IP. I'm hoping that's a typo. They mean IP, so intellectual property, more than just one item, because they go on to list, you know, what are their classics like Pong and Asteroids and Centipede and things like that. So just top level, this suggests that not only is Atari serious about getting their name out there, not only is Atari serious about creating new versions of their games, not only are they out acquiring licenses to other games to add to their portfolio, now they are very clearly, and not just thinking about it in a boardroom saying, hey, I wonder what if, this is like they've taken action. They have signed on with APA for representation to produce and develop here are the three things I want to talk about. Let's start with the first one. Live action film and television spaces. So now we're talking about a potential of, look, I don't know what it's going to be. Don't judge me. I don't, I, but a Missile Command movie. I, I don't know. You know, an Asteroids movie, Yars Revenge movie. I don't know. But this is, you know, live action scripted something based on their intellectual property. They are serious about doing that. Now, it could go the way of Pixels or it could go the way of I don't know. Pick one that's gone well. I don't know. Maybe this forthcoming Mario Brothers movie will go well. I don't know. Um, you know, or they could go the path of, uh, you know, this new Tetris movie with uh, with uh, Levitt, right? That's coming out later this week. Like that thing is really about the background of of getting the game out there. So maybe they're thinking about film or television around. What a great story to tell around, like the history of Atari and how that entire industry bloomed and kind of crashed. I think there's great potential whether you're talking about the games, the IPs themselves, or Atari in general. So, you know, I mean, crazier things have happened. I mean, Marvel was bankrupt before they started becoming their own movie studio and doing stuff. So who am I to judge? I mean, Atari can do whatever they want. That's number one. Number two, they mentioned developing projects in animation, film and television spaces. <laughs> Not since the heyday of arcades in the 80s and the Saturday morning supercade where we had you know, Donkey Kong and Pitfall and Qbert and all those crazy cartoons have we had animation based on some of our favorite video games. And this suggests, look, it was called out. They call out these three things, live action, as I said, animation, which I've now said. And then the third thing they talk about, non-scripted film and television spaces. Now, so... The first thing that jumps into my head when I hear non-scripted is reality show. It's Big Brother Survivor kind of things. But also non-scripted could include things like Lego Masters, you know? So Lego has taken a non-scripted approach to their brand and done this show with Will Arnett 
uh, called Lego Masters, where they build Legos and have challenges. Could there be something in the in the offing for Atari? I mean, they call out non-scripted as one of the possible avenues they're looking to explore with the APA to develop and produce these pieces of media. So I don't know how long it's going to be before, look, I can turn on my TV and I'll, the way things are today, it's likely to be a streaming service. It's going to be a Hulu or an Apple TV or Netflix. I don't know, somewhere. But we're talking about, again, the potential of, I, I keep hitting this, but one more time, projects around its best known IP in the live action, animation, and non-scripted film and television spaces. This doesn't sound like Atari had an idea for a show and they're chasing it down. This sounds to me like Atari has an idea to pursue creating media based on their franchises as a as a cons as, as a as an ongoing revenue stream, not just one thing. Look, that's all I know about this right now, but I wasn't gonna read this and let it just simmer in my head. I wanted to make sure everybody saw this article. Click on it down below. I read you most of it. Beyond that, it's just kind of talking about who Atari is and what their titles are. And I, I'm intrigued. I don't know what's going to happen, but you could bet I've already made a Google alert to search for, you know, Atari television, Atari movies, things like that, because anything could happen. Look, after the 50th anniversary, Atari found out people still like them. And now they said, look at all these other avenues to make money. <laughs> and and I'm on board for it, even if it's a train wreck. I want to see what they do because it's it's fascinating. Man, I, I, let me know in the comments what you think. If you know more about APA or you work in the industry and you can shine some more light on what's going on here, I would love to hear from you. I'm clearly not that expert. Uh, I, and let me know, even if you're not one of these uh, experts in, in the media industry, is there a particular title you would love to see a movie or a film or a cartoon based on? Let me know down below and maybe Atari will see it and greenlit. You never can tell. <laughs> Look, I'll throw some links over my shoulders to some other news articles and stories we're following. I certainly hope you found something to enjoy in this quick news item, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>